In a study of cell phone usage and brain hemispheric dominance, an internet survey was emailed to 6,977 subjects randomly selected from an online group involved with EARS. There were 1,346 surveys returned. Use a 0.01 significance level to test the claim that the return rate is less than 20%. Use the p-value method and use the normal distribution as an approximation to the binomial distribution. So let's first identify what is the claim in this particular question. So the claim is saying to test the claim that the return rate is less than 20%. Okay, so that is the claim. Now, it says that we need to use the p-value method, so we're going to use the p-value method, and then we're going to identify the following. So what is the sample size? Well, the sample size is 6,977. Now, what is the point estimate? Well, the point estimate is the value of x over n. Well, how many were returned? Well, we see that there was 1,346 that was returned out of the total of 6,977. Now, what is the point estimate? What is the population proportion? Well, it says that we're testing a claim that the return rate is less than 20%, but the all, the null hypothesis would be that the proportion is equal to 0 0.20. And the complement of that, Q, which is 1 minus 0 0.20, is equal to 0 0.80. Okay, now we need to check the requirements. Well, we know that the 6,977 were randomly selected. We know that there's a fixed number, 6,977 of the independent trials. We know the requirements of n times p and n times q must be greater than or equal to 5. When we know that n is 6977, p is 0 0.20, and q is 0 0.80. If we take 6977, multiply that by 0 0.20, we get 1395.4, which is greater than 5. And then 6977 times q, which is 0 0.80, is 5581.6 which is greater than 5, and therefore the three requirements are satisfied. Now, let's go ahead and state the claim and the opposite of the claim. Well, going back to the highlighted portion, we know that the population portion is going to be less than 20%. So the claim P is going to be less than 0 0.20. And then the opposite of the claim would then be that P is greater than or equal to 0 0.20. Okay. Now, we're going to use that to determine the null and the alternative hypothesis. So, let's go ahead and do that using the claim and the null. So, we know that the null is always going to contain the equality, and then we have our alternative. Well, the equality is in the opposite of the claim. So we know that P is going to equal 0 0.20. And therefore, the alternative is going to have the claim where the proportion P is less than 0 0.20. So now we have the null and the alternative. Let's go ahead and answer our first question here. So we know the null has the equality. And then we know that it's going to be less then 20%, so that means it's going to be C here. There is our answer. Now we need to identify the test statistic. Before we do, let's first identify what kind of tail test this is. Well, the alternative hypothesis tells us, and it's a less than symbol, so we know that this is going to be a left tail test. Now what is the significance level? Well, in the problem, the significance level is to be 0 0.01. So we know that alpha is equal to 0 0.01. Okay. Now we want to find the test statistic of the proportion. And here's the formula for the test statistic. And so what do we know about n? We know that n is equal to 6,977. We know that the point estimate is 1346 divided by 6977. 
we know that P is equal to 0 0.20, and we know that Q is equal to 0 0.80. Let's plug it into our formula and find that test statistic, and then round it to two decimal places. So we know that the point estimate is 1346 over 6977 minus P, which is 0 0.20. And then we're going to divide that by the square root of P, which is 0 0.20, times 0 0.80, which is Q, over N, which is 6,977. So let's go ahead and plug that into our calculator. So for our numerator, we have 1346 divided by 6977 in parentheses minus 0 0.20. And that gives us our numerator. And then we're going to divide that by the square root. Okay, and we have 0 0.20 times 0 0.80. That's in the numerator. And then we're dividing it by 6977. And then we're going to round that to two decimal places. So let's go ahead and copy that. So rounding our test statistic there to two decimal places, we end up getting negative 1.48. So let's go ahead and put that in here. So negative 1.48. And there's our test statistic. Now we need to find the p-value. So since we're not using the critical value method, we're not going to use the right part, but we're going to go ahead and use the left part of this. And we're going to draw a curve and then label. So we're going to draw our bell curve. We know that we have a mean of 0, and we know that our test statistic is going to be to the left of 0, which is z, which is equal to negative 1.48. And so since it's left tail, we're looking for the p-value in the left tail of the distribution. So in order to find the p-value, we want to find the probability of when that test statistic is less than or equal to negative 1.48. So let's use StatCrunch to find that p-value and then we're going to round it to three decimal places. So here's StatCrunch and again since we're using the z test statistic we're going to use the normal calculator. So we're going to go to stat calculators and then normal Okay, we want to make sure the arrow is pointing left to find that probability. And then we're going to put in our test statistic of negative 1.48. And there's our p-value rounded to three decimal places. And we get 0 0.069. Let's go ahead and put that into our problem here. 0 0.069. And there's our p-value. And now we need to state the conclusion. So in order to state the conclusion, we're going to go ahead now and make a decision here. So we're going to compare the p-value, which is 0.069, with alpha. And we know that alpha is 0.01. And we can see that this is greater than. Okay. So we reject the null if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level. And then we fail to reject the null if the p-value is greater than the significance level. So therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Now, before we get to the other conclusion, the rest of the conclusion, we need to come back and look at the claim. Well, the claim has a less than sign, which does not include the equality. So when we look at our four options to state the conclusion, the first two does not include the equality. The last two does. So we'll eliminate those two. And since it does not include equality and we fail to reject the null, we'll eliminate the first one. And therefore, this is the conclusion. We would say that there is failed to reject the null and there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim. So because the p-value is, we would say, greater than the significance level, we what? Fail to reject the null hypothesis and there is what there is insufficient evidence because it's not sufficient 
So therefore, we would say that there is insufficient evidence to support the claim that the return rate is less than 20%. Let's check our result, and there is our answer.